Hi, in this video I am going to explain how to trigger an SSS package from command line or batch file. If you want to trigger an SSS package from command line or batch file, you need an exe file. That exe file name is dtexe. It's an SSS utility. This file will come along with SSS installation. File is located in program files. Based on SQL Server version, the file path will vary. Here I have listed all SQL Server versions and respective DTEXE file paths. This is a 32 bit DTEXE file path, this is a 64 bit DTEXE file path. If your system is a 64 bit computer, then by default 64 bit DTEXE file will install. If you want to trigger a certain package from 32 bit environment, you need to install 32 bit DTEXE file. Now I am going to show an example to trigger an SSS package from command line using this DTEXE file. I am having one SSS package. This is my SSS package which is having one data flow task. Inside data flow task, VLDB source and flat file destination. This, If I trigger this in the file, it will extract data from employee table and create a, a flat, flat file in target location. In my package, I am having one variable. This is a variable target file path variable which is having target file path. This variable I am assigning to flat file destination connection manager by writing expression. Okay, I will show my target target file location. This is my target file location. Here file will create. Okay, I am having a simple command to execute this SSIS package. See this is my command which is having DTEXE file path first we need to mention DTEXE file path and after that slash f then we need to mention SSIS package path. Both the paths we should mention in double quotes. Okay. My DTEXE file path file is available in this location. I'm going to verify now whether the file is DTEXE file is available or not. So, yeah, this is the file. C drive program program files. SQ, Microsoft SQL Server 110 DTS bin. This is the EXE file. Yeah, in this location file is available and also this is my SSS package I'm going to verify this one SSS package sample sample dot DTSX sample this one till this one and sample this is the file sample dot DTSX file okay okay my file both the files are available if I trigger this one then the SSS package will run and file will create in this location target file will create in this location okay. I'm copying this and opening command prompt and pasting the command and trigger it clicking enter you have execution started and completed success it is showing success Okay, now I will go and check target file whether the file is created or not. Yeah, file is created. So my my SSS package is executed successfully. Okay, uh, one more thing, from batch file we can pass this variable path path and configurations we can also we can pass. Now I will pass this target file path from batch file okay for that one I am having command this is the command okay here see till this one same as above command after that I am passing variables variable value this is the variable till this one see here variable name is same as this variable and this is the my target file path I am passing from here I am passing a different fi file path here this is a uh, different file path and this is a different file path see uh, target files mm, SS, uh, sample sample package target file here 
I am going to place in sample packages folder instead of target file folder see and also I am going to give a new name employee underscore new instead of employee file txt instead of that employee underscore new um, I had given okay if I trigger this um, if I trigger this command then the file will create in this location instead of this location because this variable value will override by this value here see one more thing and instead of one slash I had mentioned two slashes here one slash is there here I am mentioning two slashes variable value as a path then you need to mention instead of one slash two slashes here a dtex path, file path and a package path we can mention only one slash but variable value in variable value we need to mention two slashes okay I'm copying this one and going to trigger from from command line paste it and trigger yeah it is success now it is success I will go and check see here yeah file is created instead of here okay this is the old file that's why I was not deleted so, uh, now I will delete this file and this file I will trigger one more time okay this is my command I have triggered yeah it is completed successfully see file is created in target location it won't be there I'm able to override this variable value from command line okay uh, this we can create for this purpose we can create a batch file also batch file is a, a nothing but a file with set of commands by the with the extension dot bat okay i'm going to uh, show you how to create a batch file this command command i'm copied from this and I am going to open one notepad, paste it in notepad and this notepad I am saving, save as ok I am going to give some name ssis package execution exec I will put and dot bat bat yeah, all files I will choose then save it yeah saved i'm closing this file and minimizing this one. see here on batch file has created if i trigger this batch file then command prompt will open execute this batch file based on commands which are present inside this batch file okay uh, this employee new i'm going to delete this one if i delete if i trigger this one again it will create the file in this location yeah, double click if I double click then it will uh, start execution see it is completed the command line mm, the commands which are present in, in this batch file are executed and the file is created I want to show if you want to show the uh, execution details then you need to put pause command inside this one otherwise the command prompt it will open after finishing the uh, command execution automatically it will close if you want to uh, see the commands then you can mention here pause yeah I had mentioned pause and save save it and close it yeah if I trigger now okay this file again I will delete if I uh, trigger this batch file then it will start execution yeah execution is completed and it is waiting waiting for you to press some key if you press some key then it will close the window automatically i am pressing you see it is completed i am pressing some key space button i had pressed then it went off see my file is created like this we can create we can trigger an ss package from command line or batch file